Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey with Antelope Audio. Whoever said that less is more had clearly never seen Antelope Audio's new flagship interface, the Galaxy 64 Synergy Core. Along with its four HDX ports, 64 channels of analog I.O., MADI, and other digital connectivity, Galaxy 64 is the first Antelope Audio interface to offer Dante connectivity. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the beginner's guide to using Dante with your new Galaxy 64 interface. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Dante is an AES67 compliant network protocol, which can run alongside your conventional data network, which makes it a very efficient way to get audio data around your studio, facility, or building. Dante is also really good for routing your audio to multiple locations at the same time, for monitors or front of house, or recording to multiple locations at the same time. In short, Dante is the perfect redundancy solution. So let's start simple. I'm using the Galaxy 64 attached to my MacBook Pro via its Thunderbolt connection. This is my primary recording platform in this scenario. However, I want to be able to monitor the master stereo output from my DAW in another part of the studio on headphones. For my headphone amp, I'm using the Focusrite Rednet X2P. This unit is both a twin channel Dante mic preamp and stereo headphone amp. To configure the signal routing on a Dante network, we use a free piece of software called Dante Controller. This is available free of charge from the Ordinate website. So Dante Controller looks after the routing for our Dante network and the Antelope Audio Galaxy 64 control panel looks after all the routing for the connections and ports of the Galaxy 64 and knowing how to configure both of these applications together is going to get us to our goal. One without the other will not help us. It's a balance between Dante Controller and the Antelope Audio control panel. To set up a duplication of the DAW stereo output, first in the Galaxy control panel, I'm going to route Comp Play 1 and 2 to Dante 63 and 64, or 31 and 32 on the 33 to 64 Dante path. This gets our audio routed onto the Dante network. Now, in Dante Controller, we need to assign the outputs, or the transmitters as they're known in the Dante environment, to the inputs of our X2P. Using the Dante Controller Crosspoint Matrix, we can easily configure this. When the nodes turn green with a tick inside, we know we have a good connection. And if we play back and bring up the volume on the X2P headphone output, we have music. This is just a very basic routing, but I'm sure you can see the possibilities. By assigning different DAW channels, such as AUX or monitor sends to different Dante channels, we can control all the monitors directly from our DAW. There are now several different manufacturers making inexpensive and fantastic quality Dante peripherals, little headphone amps and mic pre's, and other audio problem solvers that you can run across your network. Let's look at getting some signals into your DAW via the Galaxy 64 over the Dante network. I have here the new Neve 1073 OPX, an eight channel mic pre with Dante connectivity. As the Galaxy 64 has no mic pre's, I could use an analog connection from the 1073 OPX into one of the DB25 line level inputs on the Galaxy. However, DB25 cables are expensive, clunky, and heavy when you get into long cable runs. A network cable, be that Cat5e or Cat6, is cheap and allows me to run great distances or I can plug into my network and put the mic pre anywhere on the network. In Dante Controller, I'm going to assign the eight transmitting channels of the 1073 OPX to the first eight receiving channels of the Galaxy. The green tick indicates a good connection with no sync or clocking issues. Now in the Galaxy Control Panel, I'm going to drag the first eight Dante inputs to comp record one to eight. Now, the first eight inputs in Pro Tools will be the first eight Dante inputs on the Galaxy 64, which in turn come from the eight channels of the Neve 1073 OPX. Also, because the Neve 1073 OPX has a two channel interface and headphone amp built in, I can route the same signal as I have to the XP2 to the headphone amp of the 1073 OPX with no signal loss or degradation. In these two scenarios, we're using the Galaxy 64 and Dante to save us time and cabling issues. But as I'm sure you can now see, this setup could give us so much more. 
if we want to, it's easy to add a redundant recording system to our setup. Simply connect another computer to the network and using a program called Dante Virtual Sound Card as our audio interface and driver, you can tap the signals effectively making a Y split and record to a second, third or fourth machine. Remember, of course, that when we're using the Dante connections on the Galaxy 64, we still have access to the Analog I.O., the MADI, HDX and other digital connectivity. But I think that's taking things a little far for now. One for a later and more advanced video, I think. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.